Let us see now how we handle probabilities when they conform these contrast random variables when they are given in terms of three functions. So a contrast random variable has a PDF given by this. This means that for values of x in this range, their probability is this. I mean their PDF is this. Then for this one, it's this, this. Then zero with for other values of x which are not in this range. So now from there we say we handle the one that's the value of k. The value of k means that we are going to interpret the whole of this from 0 to pi over 2, but we say the moment to do that it will be a 1 because we say if the block or parameters is 1. So now so that now we have two PDF square. So I'm going to say now from the one that starting from 0 to pi over 4. Now it's PDF is k cos x dx now plus then that is starting from pi over 4 and that is start dropping at pi over 2 the pdf here is k when you add all that we shall get 1 so now here we have seen our interpret trig functions so when you interpret cos we get a positive sign so k is out when you interpret this we get sign x from 0 to pi over 4 then plus this case constant but when we integrate a sign we get negative cos x from pi over 4 to pi over 2 equal to 1 so now it's so a natural substituting in this constant here so we have in k I mean limits sin pi over 4 then minus sin of 0 then plus k then this that I'm going to take out this negative and this will take out that negative or if you don't want it and leave it there so we have negative cos pi over 2 then minus all of this minus negative cos pi over 4 all of this should be a 1. So now in the simplify, I mean that sign pi over 4, pi over 4 is the same as for pi. So this is b, root 2 over 2, the same as root 2 over 2. Why? Because you know that sine pi over 4 is the same as sine 45, which will be 1 over root 2. And if you rationalize, you shall get root 2 over by root 2 times root 2, which would be root 2 over 2. So that's why I'm getting this, and this would be 0. I know 0 is 0. Then plus k into cos of 9 times 0. We have 0, then minus, minus cos of 5 is also the same. So equal to two cos 5 over 4. Also the same value there which is root 2 over 2 equal to 1 so this would be that our case common we have root 2 over 2 k this minus and this minus will give us a positive plus root 2 over 2 k equal to 1 and then sum this this is 2 then this plus this 2 root 2 divided by 2 we get root 2 k equal to 1 in prime right now, our k will be 1 over root 2. But rationalize it, be the same as root 2 over 2. If you rationalize, then after we we'll come back and write our PDF. So our f of x will be now, this is going to be now root 2 over 2 cos x. For the interval, Then root 2 over 2. Then 0 otherwise. Otherwise, of some things elsewhere. So then when we come to part B, part B, we 
No one has to get pi over 4 less x less pi over 3. Now, you see pi over 4 is pi over 4. Pi over 4 is here. And then pi over 3. Pi over 3 is in between. Pi over 3 is 60. So, what this is 60? I mean, this is what 5 this is 9. So, 60 is in between. It means that we are going to interpret this by using this PDA. So, this will be now integral from pi over 4. Pi over 3. Now, the PDA we are using now f of x dx, which will be now our integral from pi over 4. Then pi over 3. Our PDF now it's in this range, so we can already use this. Root 2 over 2. Then sine x dx, which will be root 2 over 2 is the constant. And the different side, we get the negative cos of that function. Pi over 4. Pi over 3. So can you substitute in those limits? Putting in those limits, we shall be having now a root 2 over 2 into, when you substitute in the upper, we have a negative cos pi over 3, then minus negative cos pi over 4. Okay, so these are very easy. We know what the, okay, this will be a root 2 over 2 into cos. Cos of 45, sorry. Okay, cos of 45, I mean cos, cos of 60 is negative a half, then minus, this one we have seen is root 2 over 2. And then when you simplify, you see this will be, now root times this, we shall get negative root 2, then this and this, minus. Minus, sorry, this minus is minus is giving us a positive. Sorry, this minus and this minus is giving us a positive. So plus a root times root two, we get two. Then this and this, they all go over four, which you can give to four the small places. Now come now to part C. Part C we have probability of x about pi over 8. Now pi over 8 is the same as 22.25. You get 1 divided by 8. You will start with 22 and it's here. So above this means that we are going to go from here to this, then from there to this. This is the same as the probability of pi over 8 above this x less up when you reach above it. Up when we reach the upper limit in the second, it will be pi over 2. So, in simple terms, this will be now integral from pi over 8. Then, pi over 8 is in this range. From this up to now, it's upper limit in that range, over 4. Then, this function is the probability there, cos x, then plus integral. Now, from pi over 4 to pi over 2 or root 2 over 2 sine x the x which you can easily simplify you, you interpret as you can do in the substitute in these limits but now this one we we'll convert to radians we we'll convert your cartridge to radians because this is just not um, it is not so perfect then from here I have part B where I have probability of x so this is done to pi over 3. So this pi over 3, pi over 3 is 60. So it's that pi over 3 is in this range, 60. This is 45 and this is 9, so it's in 60. You know it, we shall go from 60 to 45, and from 45 to 0. So this is the same as the probability of now up to when which is now the lower. This one, when you say it's from the lower limit, I mean the lower interval. Which is this upper limit is pi over 3. But now this one is in the upper limit, I mean in the second interval. So let's pi over 3 after it reaches this one. So this will be now from 0 
is equal to pi minus of x is equal to pi or 1 3 which will be now okay this will be the integral now from 0 to pi over 4 so from 0 to pi over 4 but the pdf there is root 2 over 2 cos x then plus now from pi over 4 now up to when we reach the one we want here we are not completing but we are stopping at pi over 3 as when I reach pi over 3 but here the pdf in this range from pi to this is root 2 sine x which you can only be there now part e is the easiest probability of x greater than pi now pi is 1 8 this pi is 1 8 so sir 1 8 is out of this range so the answer is very easy it's going to be zero why because we say if you're not in this range for this your probability is zero so you don't this because this pdf they, they are letting us again zero and okay. so you see that this pi is one eight yet this one is stopping from zero to point five then from point five to nine so pi of i mean pi is not in this in this two range or in these two intervals meaning it's zero so that's what we need to use that so that's the answer this was the easiest so i think you can complete those ones i wish you were. Well.